We are taking you county by county to check on school reopening plans. School being delayed across the first coast due to COVID-19 and we may be adding another district to that list. Nassau County School District Superintendent says the board will vote tonight on whether or not they want to move back the start of the school year to August 24th. Our Leah Shields is on your side this morning finding more details from the district's draft reopening plan and how teachers feel about that. Hey, good morning, Katie. The draft reopening plan for Nassau County says that they would require masks for students grades 6 through 12. But currently, Nassau County is under a mask mandate, and if that is extended, then everyone who is indoors would be required to wear a mask. The school district acknowledges that social distancing is not entirely possible in every classroom, but desks will be spread out as much as possible and hand sanitizer will be in every classroom. There has never been a time that we're not striving to consider all options, listen and make the best decisions possible. Nassau Teachers Association President Jamie Viano says teachers have concerns. The teachers do want to go back. They want to be with their students. They're just concerned that their their safety and their health is not being a top priority. Teachers and staff will be required to wear masks and at times face shields. Viano says more measures need to be taken. The district has said many times that they are working with health professionals. There was a task force for reopening. However, the specifics that go on behind what is specifically doing done to ensure that safety has not been spelled out. Vanna tells me that when she asks for more details, she is told that all the details are in that draft reopening plan and that when she has gone inside of a school that she says it just doesn't look ready yet. So she is hoping for that delay to August 24th to give the district more time to prepare and put more safety precautions in place for teachers beyond just wearing masks. In Nassau County, Leah Shields, First Coast News on your side.